Hey guys, today I have a book review for you and I am so excited to share. It was one that I really did enjoy and I just want to say thank you to Little Bird Publicity for sending this my way. It is The Life She Wants by Robin Carr. And this is about a girl named Emma and her husband Richard commits suicide when he realizes that he is about to go to jail for a very long time for committing some very serious crimes. Now poor Emma is left to deal with his mess and eventually she finds herself back at home in California with nothing more than what she had originally left with. She doesn't expect much when she returns, but with the help of a high school friend, she gets back on her feet. She is struggling to make ends meet at this burger joint, and she finally enlists the help of her best friend from high school's brother, Adam. Adam talks to his sister Riley and asks for her to give Emma a job for her cleaning company. From there, things get tough and yet very heartwarming. At first, I wasn't really connecting with Emma, and I thought that I should have been dropped straight into Richard's trial and really see her kind of struggle through all of that. But then the story started to dive further into her past, and we see that Emma and Riley had a falling out. Emma's father died, her stepfamily was disregarding her, and she ended up losing the only other family that she had known. That's when I really started to feel for Emma. I thought that Emma was a great character. She showed a lot of strength, forgiveness, perseverance, and she knew how to appreciate the things that really mattered in life. And she you know, demonstrated that the best things don't always have monetary value. The other characters were pretty great too, and I just would have loved to have a little bit more of Riley and Adam's mom because she was such a joy, and I loved her. The Life She Wants was well-paced and addictive. I love how the story came together. However, the epilogue, I really could have either gone without it or had it extended just a little bit because I felt like it was just really short and there was so much information thrown at us. I feel like just giving it just even just a couple more paragraphs or a page really would have been a terrific way to just wrap it up and leave me with all of those feel goods. Overall, I did enjoy this book. It was quick paced, like I said. It kept me constantly nose deep, but I just wasn't in love with it. It didn't have any wow moments or moments that really made me freak out, which is kind of what I was hoping for. It didn't leave me super giddy or head over heels. I was just looking for that little extra something to give it a raving review. Thank you to Little Bird Publicity for the art and the final copy. The final copy is beautiful. It's got a really soft cover. I like that these pages kind of fold out. Um, it also has these gorgeous deckled pages, which I love. So thank you so much for treating me so well, Little Bird. Again, I gave this a four stars and I do recommend it is a light and enjoyable read. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. I will have more reviews coming your way, so stay tuned and I will see you next time. Bye.